Okay, I know I'm on the roll tonight, uh, and it's fine because uh, there's been some things that's been pondering that I've seen that I've experienced this week that really kind of rubbed me the wrong way. So this video is about public service, people who work with the public. So I was down at Cook County Hospital. Um, at the financial part of the building to look into, you know, making some arrangement about a bill. And when I walked up to the window and talked to the young lady, I had already spoken to someone. And she told me when I was down that way to stop by and then we can work on it then. And I had a follow-up appointment uh, uh, for uh, something that was on my hand that I had to have removed. And so when I walked up to the glass, I talked to her. I said, how you doing? I talked to her nicely. And she's like, how can I help you? So I told her, I said, a young lady told me to come to the window and uh, come to this department and see you about this bill. Um, and I want to, you know, get it taken care of and get it squared away. So she proceeded to ask me, well, are you married? Are you single? Um, and I looked at her. And then she started pulling all these papers. And she's like, well, you need to have this, 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 and this. And I looked at her again. And I'm like, really? Really? Is the attitude really necessary? You're dealing with the public. So you don't know my story. You don't know what's going on with me. But yet you want to talk down to me and you want to be attitude like you doing me a favor. Well, let me explain some to you for all you nasty public service people, cashiers, clerks, whoever you may be. If it weren't for regular folks, you wouldn't have no job. So you need to check your attitude. Your name is not on the bottom of a check and you just a pink slip away from not having a job, your dog gonna sell. So why you got this little funky attitude towards somebody? You need to think twice. I'm sure you got a family to feed. I'm sure you got a car note to pay, car insurance, a mortgage, or you pay rent. You got to buy groceries, babysitting money, tuition, and you want to sit up there with an attitude and be nasty with people. It don't make no sense. None whatsoever. Then you wonder why people get mad and they snap off. This is the reason why. You never know what point a person is in their life when you do the things that you do. So you need to be mindful. People on the news go back with guns and everything else and start shooting. And then people are like, oh, we don't understand why. Yeah, y'all y'all understand why. Because some of y'all provoke that mess. And you need to get it together. You ain't queen of kings or nothing. Hell, you working a job like everybody else. You ain't running no company. You working for a company. It's not your money. It don't cost you nothing to be nice. And if you can't be nice, then serving the public is not for you. Find something else. Get you a job that had a door where you file and you have to talk to nobody. Because if you can't get your attitude together and serve people right, then you need to find something else to do with yourself. For somebody to cuss you the hell out. Because ain't nobody got to deal with that. If nobody approach you nasty, you should not be nasty to nobody else. You need to check your attitude. 